everyone in this short video i'm going to show you uh, another uh, ai builder feature that we have in power apps uh, and uh, it's available for the premium one that you see there's a diamond beside that and uh you can use it that's a business card reader i already start to use it mm, i didn't use it yet for the proper flow or proper application yet uh, i will show the one when i created but just check it out how it work and i hope that you enjoy it so uh, first of all i have an environment uh, still um, actually is a trial one but if you have one so you just make sure you have a, a environment that's able to run cds common data service on that so after that going to the ai builder under the build business card reader so here is probably some explanation that automatically process happen is going to uh, actually read your card and able to actually to do that so just to start to see that how we can use it uh, after that you create it you can also use it in flow so for example you have the scans of your of different uh, cards in one of the uh, actually in your folder or whenever you get a, actually a picture from the business card you want to pass it to store it in other database this can be possible so this actually does some best practice here you see that you said that use clear image of business cards don't do that you will see that i will show some of demos that i'm using this but it's still sometimes working but yes the best thing is to have a clear image of that uh, scan one business card at the same time don't put complex or many of them at the same time so let's start through that create an app i'm going to navigate to the power apps environment here and is open the canvas for me i'm going to use a, a actually layout one okay so when you see here is actually you will see something like this this actually uh, you can put it here so if you go to the insert go to the ai builder you see that we have business card reader so this is one of the component that we have here so let's just start let's just check it out that how it work actually so uh, i'm going to the uh, actually run it i'm going to bring one of the business cards that i have just give me a second i can't find it so that's a one this is not a best practice picture but it still is really good to identify that one so you see that i loaded that it exactly has a, a bad direction as is mentioned but still is able to detect the picture so this is one you see that is bring it a bit up and i can say yep scan that one so you can add it there so now i can see that what is able to recognize so i need to back to the canvas and i'm going to add a couple of label to see that what i have there so i'm going to add one label here a couple of different ones so one two and then another one so for the first one instead of text i'm going to put business card reader dot so okay that's an interesting part so you see that is able to see the address city address country address postal code business phone uh, so yeah maybe i'm interested on business phone so yeah this is my business phone so this is my card this is my phone here i'm going to add another one again so business card reader dot uh, is able also to if there's a clean image company name department email yep this is another one that sometimes we're really interested yep radakat.com and i'm going to another one that is business card reader dot uh for example yeah email first name full address full name yeah that's another one that we need so uh, of course uh, i'm sure that is not able to detect everything because my image was not really good so uh, i can try the other one so for example um uh, company name uh yep so i'm actually if i back is not that one is actually rather cut but because i didn't mention here and it's the second one so it's considered that that should be my but it's a kind of the title but still for the good one is actually able to detect the other so let's try the other business card i'm going to try the other business card that i have 
Now I'm going to try the other one that I just downloaded. That's for my friend. Let's see that how it's actually work. Just going to detect. That's one of my friends. She's from Vardy IT. And see that how it actually work. So as you can see here, so yeah, telephone number is correct. She's her email address, her full name. And this is because actually it's really good actually because it's a different font, but it's kind of W is not really clear, but it still is able to detect that one. So you see that how it's good. So it's different for the each department, for the each one is different, but I tried couple of different other one. I found that the email is perfect, is able to detect the phone number also, and part of the name, of the full name actually, is really good as well. So if you're interested uh, in to create that one, and after that you can use, I will show in the next video, you can combine it with Power Automate to get the data from a business card reader and pass it or save it in other resources. Uh, hope you enjoy it, just try that one, try with the different business cards that you have, and that can be really useful. My server, I create the app, I'm going to use it in the conference that I'm attending and get the business card from people to store it back or you can put it, uh, use it into, for example, find them in the Twitter or on LinkedIn. That can be lots of idea behind that. Uh, cool. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoy it. Um, hope in the next video I show the process with the Power Automate.